What's up everyone, Phil back again. <clears throat> Replicas of the past. I want to do a quick video on this guy. I got it off eBay recently. And I opened it up and it, it the front fender was already missing. But when I opened it up, the uh, wheel weights were broken off. And what's worse was the steering was messed up. This is die cast. It's broke off underneath. It looks like it does need some repairs. You can see here. It, uh, it's not in the best of ways as far as the uh, steering right now. But the 116 scale John Deere 8520 by Ertl with triple duels on the back and doubles on the front. It's really big, wide, huge, heavy tractor. It's pretty cool. The real tractor from tractordata.com says a John Deere 8520 produced between 2002 to 2005 part of the 8020 series this was the high-end tractor in this series the previous tractor in the series was an 8420 I think the some our tractor in the next series should have been the 8530 if I'm not mistaken. PTO tested 292.8 horsepower. Drawbar tested 225.1 horsepower. It's a really cool tractor. There's a picture of the real tractor. I think they did a good job on this replica. Um, well, other than it being broken, but I don't even think that was a seller's fault because it was still in the box like it had never been taken out. The taping, the wires were still all on it. So I don't think it was, the seller didn't know that the weights and the steering was broken. I know, I found it when I opened the box. So I can't really complain a lot on that in my opinion. Um, that seller I bought from many times and um, I think it was just the way it was in the box. I'll try to fix it down the road. It's a pretty neat tractor. I'm just going to kind of do this with the camera. The hood does raise. Got decent details on the engine. I don't know how accurate they are, but somebody tell me if that's accurate or not. There's inside the cab. I do have the flasher and the mirror uh, additions. I just didn't put them on. I'm always afraid of breaking them off. Here's your three point quick hitch on the back. Like I said, six tires on the rear, all rubber. Four on the front, all rubber. Nice wheels as well on the tractor. Nice work lights on the cab and stairs there, entry to the cab. It, it's a pretty nice uh, model. I had the uh, 8520 European edition and I ended up selling it because I wanted one of these eventually. It's got nice details. This was released in 2002 by Ertl. It's a pretty sharp uh, replica here, albeit it's broken a little bit. Hopefully I can try to fix it down the road some way, maybe. It's pretty cool. John Deere. But this thing's basically 20 years old now. All right, I won't be doing a comparison because it's so big. I want to thank everyone that always tunes into my channel. This is Phil for Replicas of the Past. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.